Today we're going to be cloning a Mac Mini hard drive. The hard drives that come in these are Hitachi 5400 RPM 500 gig drives, if you get the standard, which is what I did because I can upgrade it much cheaper myself. As I just did the RAM, I put in a 4 gig module to add to the 1 gig module, which gives me 5 gigs for like $25. Okay. So I bought the best hard drive you can get without going SSD, but I'm going to use this hard drive like crazy with video processing and photo processing, and you don't want to do that with SSDs. So I bought a traditional spinning hard drive, 7200 RPM Western Digital Black Series. Let's zoom in on this guy. Scorpio Black, 500 gigabyte, SATA interface, of course. And there you go. I'm going to be using Carbon Copy Cloner. Go to the download link. Save the file. Done. Bounces around down here. Or it did. Either way you want to do it. Opening. Carbon copy cloner to applications. I'm done. Um, there it is right there. Carbon copy is an application download from the internet, blah, blah, blah. Open. Um, you want to agree or you won't be able to do it. Um, would you like to review carbon copy cloner? Quick? Okay, no thanks. Source drive destination drive. Obviously our source drive is the internal Mac drive and then this is going to be our destination drive which I'll put into this handy little dock. You can do regular size drives or a laptop size drive. And we will turn it on. It's USB 3.0. Works pretty good if you have a PC. Obviously it still works if you have a 2.0, which actually we are going to plug it in right now. Forgot to do that. I use this little guy so I don't have to plug a bunch of stuff into the back and wear out the ports. That should pop up on the desktop somewhere. The disk you entered was not recognized. Oh, yeah. Um, ignore, initialize. We're going to initialize it. Uh, let's see, Western Digital, here we go. Partition, one partition, untitled is fine. Apply, partition, do it. I'm using a little point and shoot that doesn't focus on the fly, so I have to stop the recording every time, which I'm not gonna do. Done. Do you want to use to back up with Time Machine? No, do not use. All right, I'm done with that. Okay, we want to select, I am gonna restart this. Okay, restarted it in a little closer focusing. Um, select a source, Macintosh HD. Select a destination, untitled disk one. Uh, let's see, I want to maintain a backup archive, I want to maintain, restore items. Mm, maintain a backup, I don't know. Let's see, customize these settings. I think it'd be everything. Or cloning, right? Yeah, clone. Password, no password. Authenticating, cloning. Once that gets done, I will install this bad boy into the Mac Mini. It should be much more responsive. Uh, I definitely want to do this because even when I adjust the volume up here, sometimes there's a delay. Yeah, see that delay? It should be a lot more instant than that. It's quicker now that I've done it once.
Yeah, I know you love that noise. Cloning. We're now cloning Garage Band. Yep. It took 28 minutes to clone 20 something drive, or 20 something gigabytes. Um, now all you have to do is install this into your Mac Mini. And I currently don't have the tools to do that, so I will have to record that later. Maybe put it on this video. I might upload this video. We'll see.